Okay, big adventure. This is going to be a nuisance. Oh god, it's filled with nothing but new enemy types. All right, this is going to be this is going to be exciting. The stench of decay is getting stronger. I must be getting close. Oh, they're artillerying me from afar, Mr. Goatee. Okay, luckily the artillery guys from afar aren't. What the hell's up with their HP? It's like this weird kind of roulette roulette HP situation. I don't understand. We're just gonna clear out this way so we have have a place to run to. Yeah, that's really strange. Nice. I'm super confused by it. At least we're like at the right level. Ghosts. Ghosts can pass through walls and other objects. They can appear from corpses. You're slain enemies. And they're cold. Well, this flame axe works perfectly. I am not regretting upgrading this axe, though we do need to get the next card slot so I can put on some boots and not have to worry about burning myself to death. Though I guess ultimately that kind of stacks up as... as one of the lower priority worries. Though honestly, this is getting easier somehow. Maybe the uh, end of dungeon area is always a little bit rougher. Did we get him, or is he summoning? I have no idea. I want to... Well, I guess let's go around this way. He just summoned a shit ton of dudes. Luckily, I can kind of avoid these things. Okay. Okay, we want to stay away from these guys. They probably hurt rather badly. It's kind of a grab bag of how dangerous they are. But I don't want to deal with how many goons they've got. Oh, jeez. Alternatively, I might have to. This is a rough situation. What? What was that? Why is the charge in this game garbage? Sometimes it's like super pow powerful. Sometimes it's like totally worthless. And he keeps summoning more. Oh, fuck me. I can't get to him. They're not within range. Let's grab the hearts. <sighs> Stop summoning monsters! Or are we getting like crazy experience from this? Let's kill one of these. We are getting experience from every summoned monster we kill. Hmm. On one hand, this is starting to seem a little bit more... Smart, unless there's kind of a maximum here. Let's see, do we get any experience from that? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we can't hit him. We're missing like 90% of the time. Oh, he's a. Uh, he's one of these bosses. You have to be within his range to fight him. I got it. Unfortunately, he's left my general range area. Oh, wait, no, now he just has health. Okay. Sadly, leveling up doesn't really help me too much here. At least we can set the whole goddamn place on fire. Oh, I got hit in the face by a rock. There we go. Burn my way through this. He is still summoning things. Constantly. No, he's not summoning things, he's summoning rocks. Oh, click and hold to dispel. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. I apparently can't do that with, uh, ah. I apparently can't dispel his, um,. Okay, I can dispel some of these things, I just have to be within range. Good to know. Did I get him? I got him. That was some kind of awful nightmare situation. Okay, charge really needs to work on its um, ability to hit things. Because it kind of doesn't, and it's really frustrating in a way. 
Okay, I really need to stay away from this. Honestly, I might consider switching out. Okay, let's just switch out the Amulet of Mana for the Amulet of Life. We need that healing rather badly. Okay. Let's just slowly plow through this guy. Things are looking good. So we do have the Mimic. I don't think the Mimic actually attacks us. I'm also getting really sick of the artillery enemies. Oh, let's burn through these guys quick. Yeah, so what those boots will do is it'll... Uh, what those boots will eventually do is make the uh, Golden Heart enemies get hit by my own fire attacks. Not actually sure if that's useful, but me not being able to burn myself, kind of useful. Let's take out the ghost. I don't know if we have to worry too much about the ghost, but still. Oh, that is the level up that's been a long time coming. Oh, and... Oops. There we go. Okay. So when we get up to 10,000, we're probably going to want to sit down... Uh, 10,000 gold, we're probably going to want to go buy the next card slot. Maybe? Oh yeah, it just flashed like we can... We can do that even. Because yeah, another card slot could be useful. Because, yeah, if I could have both the Amulet of Health and Mana running, that'll make my life easier. These levels are slow, but the gold count is good. So that's appreciated. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else around here? I think we had a door. So these guys are goatmen. Yeah, they've been a little bit tougher as a result of uh, us getting to this new floor. This this game's difficulty setup is uh, super spiky. It's kind of interesting, actually. Now, I've been this way, I came this way, and this whole way is gold, so I don't have to do that. Could just add boots to my current equipment. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure if the, uh, the boots are really that necessary. It'll save me, like, a little bit of damage, but having both, um... Oh. Apparently there's one more tiny specter left? What? What? Okay, there that goes. So there's one more enemy just lurking somewhere in here. Oh, that's... that's fun. Yeah. I think my thing is the, the boots would be helpful but not that helpful. Like, it would save me from, like, a little bit of damage every once in a while. And, like, I, I, I can see the benefits of having it, but I think the uh, the benefits of having, like, mana regen, and we should probably switch out charge. Here, we haven't even tried throw yet. Let's let's throw throw onto the, onto the board, see if that does me any good. And I don't know where this ghost is. I'd like, I'd like to find it, I'd like to fight it, but if it's not going to show up, then I don't really want to stick around. So let's just not. Let's just go down. Let's go this way. Okay. Maybe, if we're lucky, uh, throw is actually a... Oh. Well, that's not nearly as good as I'd like it to be. Okay, so Chilled Wraith. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh, the Chilled Wraith has already come to say hi. Sadly, we're probably gonna spend much of this fight frosted. That's not where I was aiming at all. What? What kind of hot nonsense is this? I'm gonna grab these hearts. I mean, luckily, we're not taking a whole lot of damage here. He's hitting me a bunch. But that's kind of it. He also doesn't have a whole lot of HP. He's just kind of also a jerk. Adept Ghostbuster. Good stuff. Grab these heart bits, and boss will go down shortly. There we go. This actually is a much easier boss to fight. All in all. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't like how charge works. Green arrow is where I end up when I charge. Doesn't look like it. Let's see, is this, this is the boss. Okay, he's done. Grab the HP, trying to grab the HP. Oh no, that's the boss. I think? I killed the boss, right? Oh, I kind of did. Yeah, I can only use this when I have an enemy nearby, I think. Great. Okay, let's get some mana back. Let's burn through the ghosts. And yeah, this flaming axe is kind of handy against said ghosts. Because we don't have to worry about as much. Okay, we get a moon rune. Really shouldn't stand in the fire. I actually really wish my fire would keep me um, f frost proof. Whoops. We're not done with this one at all. Okay. Now, did I get that? I got that. We haven't been here. I have no idea what the uh, the green the green mark is for. It's just kind of there, and that's it. Oh, maybe that's where the last ghost was on the previous level. In like a mis miscellaneous sarcophagi. I guess? It's the only thing I can think of. Well, let's yeah. see. I can understand the reason for not wanting to let you grind, but I feel like it should have like a small amount of tolerance. Well, I am surrounded in just... Uh, 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 uh. I... I think I might turn off character voices if that's at all possible. Because I'll be totally honest, hearing the character grunt over and over and over and over, over and over and over and over and over and I can't do it. Okay, that's, that's annoying. Shows where you end up moving in game. Guess that makes sense. I guess it's not terrible. Uh, probably shouldn't have not have done that. All right, whatever. At least we don't have to deal with a whole lot of gargoyles anymore. They've kind of been removed from the whole lineup. I also keep getting these achievements. But yes, yeah, small variance on grinding would be nice. Or just be... Or I, I guess I'd just like it if you could grind for loot, not levels. Oh, well. Guess it doesn't matter too much. I guess part of it is I'm just sitting here being like, when's my new new cool thing going to show up? Because I want to, I want the next new cool thing. Oh well, geez, this level goes on. Let's go back to town for a second. Okay, so he's got. I'm just gonna ignore his. I know he can talk about monsters and stuff, and that's totally cool. And I should probably do that, but... Or, I should probably let him. I just don't quite feel like it. Okay. So now we can afford to have the bloody armor on top of everything else. So it gives me 10 mana to work with, and we're in a good position. Okay. So you want to know more about me? Oh, how flattering. Nowadays, I may seem like a mere merchant to you. But before I left the capital, I was the jewel of high society. Poets praised my beauty, scholars were in awe of my knowledge, and hot-blooded heirs of the most noble families dueled to earn my attention. Like so many others, our good king often sought my counsel, and lamented when I had no time for him. You must wonder why I left that world behind. Let me just say that too much attention eventually becomes tiring. I prefer to use my talents on those who are truly helpless. You know what happens to ordinary people if those with great gifts abandon them? They fall prey to fallacies and misconceptions. Just listen to some of the sages' stories. You'll know what I mean. Okay, so we can upgrade Mighty Blow, Skeleton Belt, or... Okay... So I got two sun runes and some moon runes. We don't really care about antidotes. Uh, burning axe is a long way from being upgraded. Charge could be useful. 
Let's see, amulet of health, amulet of mana. They're all kind of useful, but I think I'm just gonna save my dosh. I mean, we've got kind of the combo I'm going for here. Did I? I I've leveled up, okay. And yeah, we're still having trouble finding all of our ghosts here. Sadly, that's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. He charged me. I guess goat men have that ability. What am I supposed to do about that? Back, oh, I wonder if there's a, um. Okay, let's pick up our hearts. Try and just mash through all of these ghosts before they keep frosting me to death. Okay, I think I'm totally frozen over. All right, whatever. We're good. Just slow pain. Those charger guys are jerks. And I don't like them. I swear I was out of, the, out of range for that, but I guess not. So these are like the lamest treasure chests ever. It's like, this treasure chest has 20 gold in it. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, crap. The, um... The mini gargoyles are back. Sidestep charging goats. I I guess? I guess you just have to back up or something? Wait, your cards can get loosened? What's that? What? Really? I really now. Also, I guess being able to sidestep those goats is rather handy. Okay. So we've got a darn mess over there. So, oh. Interesting. Master Goat Herd for disrupting his charge. Oh, but the, uh, the shrine's in his way. <laughs> I think that was the easiest boss I've ever faced. Okay, this worked out fairly well. Yeah, so he just kept plonking his face directly into, uh... He kept plonking his face directly into that health... Health shrine. Works great for me, don't want to get frozen here. Okay, I wonder if, um... No, I assume upgrading the boots eventually make it so I don't have to worry about getting poisoned at all. Probably figure out what the uh, prize pot is. Oh yeah, I guess the sarcophagi do have a chance of dropping uh, gold. Not much, but they do. Okay. Let's see. So all we've got left is this side. I I would actually really appreciate if there's like a map system for this game. Uh oh. It's not so much sidestep the goats as get the hell out of the way. There's not really a whole lot you can do. Crypto Chirqui. Oh, crap, it's a spider. A favorite. Actually, you know what? Spider might not be so bad. I've got all of my all of my like burning AoEs that I can just pull here. Because all the spiders themselves only have Is that the boss? That's the boss. Okay, let's get out of the way a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the the little spiders just die fairly quickly to burning AoE. And or my various attacks. Is, interestingly enough, they don't do poison. I was honestly expecting the uh, spider bosses to be particularly poisonous, and they never have been. Always a bit... I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's see. Grab all this. Yep. Grab all this stuff. Shell has just shown me a picture of... I think it was her... Yeah, her, her freshman year roommate. Apparently got to meet uh, Dan Avedon from Game Grumps. I mean, I guess go to any convention and you'll probably meet the guy. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm not that jealous. Uh... 
The concept of meeting like celebr celebrity YouTubers to me is, would be cool. Uh, and I can totally understand like why uh, why somebody would really want to meet their like favorite YouTube stars. But I think it's also one of those where I just know it would be like not painfully awkward, but it would definitely would be one of those where oh shit, is that? Oh wait, no, 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 that was not a boss. Thought we had a whole another boss hanging out over here, and I was like, eh. Um, nah, I, I don't know. The concept of meeting YouTubers is just weird. Uh, it's, oh, there's just a miscellaneous ghost back here. Go away. Oh, hey, I can one-shot them now. Good stuff. I'm also not sure where I'm going. So that's where we came from. I haven't checked out this entire side. No. No charging nonsense. Okay. These guys still have 2 HP. These guys still chuck stuff. Yeah. I did get to go to the Ninja Sex Party concert, which was pretty good. Though, honestly, Journey Live to me was way, way more interesting than uh, NSP. I don't know. I, I like NSP, but it's not actually as, like... It's not as glamorous as you'd think it would be. Okay. I wonder, can I do WASD? No, you can't do WASD to move in this game. Kind of wish you could, almost. Also, I think that's another boss. It looks pretty bossy, but still. And there he is. The armed phantom. Oh, he has, like, a teleporty thing. And also cold. Well, considering he just has, like, a shooty thing. Oh, I can't get rid of that. That's the point. I see how it works. But yeah, since since I have a fl flame axe, this guy gets just kind of easy. That flame axe was handy. But I'm still hoping I can get some more good melee weapons along the way here. Okay, there we go. And he spawns a ghost. A ghost spawn from the ghost. Good stuff. Glad I got this Healy amulet. It is... Rather helpful. Level clear. Where the heck was the exit? Exit's over here. I will agree though, Ninja Sex Party is a pretty, pretty fun uh, name for a band. Have they actually put out any new songs in a while? I don't know that one. Interesting question. Good God, we've still got three floors down, three floors left to go. Uh, you know, mm, let's go back to town. Let's see what we got. Might be a thing or two. Uh, I can still... Yeah, the problem is we keep getting moon runes, and we don't need moon runes that much. Like, it might be useful for the shadow sword. But still, what's the old man got? Oh, it's only 15k. Well, let's identify this card. At the very least. It's a rune card. Oh, but it was one of the good ones. Oh yeah, their last album was the cover one. There's five prizes in here. Uh It's not now. Let's collect prizes after this run, probably. For better or worse. Yeah, the co the cover the cover album was okay. I don't know, I guess I'm not much of a cover cover one, but at the same time Ninja Sex Party just partnered with Tupperware Remix Party, so I guess it kinda makes sense. Okay, this is just This is just mean. Beset by ice hucking ghosts. I wonder if there's a, uh. I wonder if there's a, uh. What am I thinking? Eh! Ah. Okay, there we go. And I'm almost completely frozen. I don't know if I should be going for the ghost. Okay, let's grab that shrine. These ice hucking ghosts are the worst fucking thing. I, I want to hit the ice hucking ghost that has way longer range than I do. Stupid. Ah! There's more ghosts. They don't die. You'd think standing in fire would deal with their frost hearts like lickety split, but no. Oh. Right, all of my shit got tilted. That's annoying too. I guess let's grab this one. Murder through here. 
Is that a boss that just summoned all of that stuff? Or I'm not entirely clear on what's going on. Yeah, that's not a boss over there. It's just a random goat. I like that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just pull them away or something. How much range can they have? Okay, stay away from that. I mean, I can juke them. The problem is these guys show up when I'm in the middle of combat, which is less than cool. Where'd the other guy go? I have no idea. Free mana point, though. Take that. So as long as you can see them. I think I am having the age-old issue. Oh, you don't do that. I think I'm having the age-old issue of dangerous enemy, stupid status effect, uh, way more range than it ought to have. The combination is very, very mean. Oh well. We're still kind of plowing through this slowly, painfully, angrily. <laughs> uh, I, I love this game, but boy does it make me salty. freeze is annoying. If there's a way to anti-freeze myself, I'd be okay with it, but I can't. There's like next to nothing I can do in fucking goats, man! Ah! Ah! Uh, okay. It's still alive. How there? How is there another goat? Okay. This one next. There's more ghosts! No! I hate this level! Whoever made these creatures is a Satan, sadist. They're just straight up Satan. And not like, kinda cool deal with the devil Satan, it's just like, super dick man. Now there's more of them! And my accuracy is like the worst. I have like a, I have like a 30% penalty. My god! Cool it with the fucking ranged attacks! This is like the hottest of garbage. And now I'm surrounded in- Okay, there we go. I think... I mean, luckily charge saves the day, but still. Fuck. So now there's goat archers on top of everything else. I hate the fact that it has to like roll up their HP. What is that? That that's not why the, why does it do that? Cause like one of those guys rolled up his HP and he had two, and I clicked on him like seven times there. It's not fair. Like look at this guy. It rolls up his HP, and it did It did actually keep track of how much HP he had. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on. Come on. Okay. Think if I could sprint, maybe? Or if I could run through the entire level, but no, I'm, I'm limited to this dumb pathway. And I can't, like, move and attack at the same time. Ugh. Okay, who's throwing rocks at me? And why are you a jerk bag? At least we don't have to deal with any more of those immortal summoner guys just pelting me with non-stop monsters. Still frustrating. Interesting. Interrupting kind of kills them somehow and we've got Alfred the Forsaken It might be a poison ghost hard to tell oh He's one of those old zombie dudes And he's gone and he's back again 
As long as he doesn't summon anybody, I don't have to worry about a thing. Go to hell. If I could like, if I could press WASD to move and like scoot around and not have to worry about enemy attacks, I think it would actually make this a little bit easier. No ghosty business for you. At least these guys have like no HP. Sadly, I'm now frozen, and I'm being pelted by nonstop. Motherfucker, I think that might be a summoner. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just one of these guys. My accuracy is kind of amazing, and by amazing, I mean you're worthless. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Charge! Okay, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Fuck! Look at all these ranged attacks. There's nothing I can do about them. <laughs> oh, this is all this fire. <laughs> I'm literally killing myself here. Let's grab the HP. I just this is just this is just the mm. Look at them. There's 3 of them in one area, and I can't even kill one before I get ice cubed. Oh, and they've got a friend, of course. At least we can get my HP back. Like, I'm not killable, I'm just angry. They do so much damage, too. Okay, stay away from the exploding ghost people. Yeah, like, if I had full range, full range of the whole area to explore around in, I'd be pretty cool with some of this stuff. I don't- No, oh, no, 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 there's another one, not another one! <laughs> ah! I mean, I might have enough money for that extra card slot soon. I wonder if that auto attack sword thing would actually help here. It might. I could upgrade it too. Ah! 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 What did I get stunned by? You. Okay. And now I'm frozen again. You know, I just... I give up. I give up so hard. Let's just bust these, seeing as I can't do much else while they're freaking freezing me to death. Ah. Nice. This game is in desperate need of some balance. Maybe not, I don't know. I mean, ultimately, they're kind of... I mean, you could call them easy. But I still think they're giant jerkwads. There's another one? Get out of my dungeon! Yeah, it's, it's not that they're even, like, individually that dangerous, it's just the biggest nuisance thing. No balance, only sadism. Ah! So mean. Well, we can get the next, um... We can get, get the next, uh, card slot. Hey, I don't see any Lancers here. So that actually should mean this level's not a giant Dillwingle. Man, I don't even know what I'd call this. It's not my dungeon. My dungeon! I'm raiding the shit out of it, it's mine. I like that. It's not that they're raiding the dungeon. Cold Shadow. Balls. With a name like that, I don't want to deal with it. What did we just get? Oh, poison bomb. I maybe should use some of those. Maybe not though. Hmm. Well, this is hot garbage. Okay, I'm gonna wait until that's over with. So could wait for a little bit of my HP to come back too. Okay. Oh crap. 
Oh, I walked right into that one. At least he only has a couple of these. We're probably going to need a healing potion. I'm apparently also poisoned. Uh, let's get rid of the poison. Let's break off his shield. I don't know if he has anything else. Luckily, he himself is kind of weak. Okay, we're going to ignore that for a while. Don't teleport there. We need to kill Mr. Go Goat Hucker. Uh, let's see if we can kill through that. Oh, he's got this. Card is loosened. Loosening cards is dick move. Okay. Let's see if I can kill through him. Oh, good stuff. Okay, good good time for a level. Glad I stunned the shit out of this guy. And he's immune. Oh, something about a poison bomb. What? What? Where are you going? Why am I going here? You... That's not right! My target was right next to you and you decide to go running elsewhere! Why is it that sometimes my charge just does bizarre nonsense business and then other times it decides to aggro the rest of the dungeon? I'm not okay with this! Well, we're okay ish. I only had to use one healing potion. We almost immediately got another one. Let's see, does charge follow the cursor? It might, but like sometimes I'll move my cursor like way away. And then charge will. You know what? Like there. I didn't charge at all. Like I, I still did the charge. Oh, I can interrupt that. And, like, I've totally plowed enemies out of my way. So, like, there really is next to no, like, rhyme or reason to how it works. I'd rather charge just be a straight up, like, just distance. Regardless, uh, you know, you go straight to your cursor or as far as you can possibly make it. And that's it. Nothing else. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Well, I think we're done. I think this one is missing like a little bit, but that's okay. Because, yeah, there's like maybe a pot, maybe a ghost. But I don't feel like looking for it or dealing with it. So I have a new he hedgehog avatar. The avatar thing is kind of interesting. Okay, so we can... Yeah, let's go to town. I got a bunch of stuff to do here. So let's level up. I should have a ton of pots. Uh, pots. Prizes. Six prizes. Yeah, I can afford the next card slot. Still? I, I still can. Okay, good stuff. Wait, was that all of the prizes? Just like two things? What? That's just mean. Helmet protects you from critical hits. Okay. Unlock the card slot. Not sure where I got the money from, but still, I'll take it. Okay. So I still have some stuff. We can upgrade a lot. So we could upgrade charge, which I'm probably going to do. And we could also upgrade my boots. <sighs> if I can get it so the boots make me immune to ice, I'll be so happy. I probably should have paid attention to the... Um, the helmet to see what upgrading that would do. 
Trample small spiders. Okay, so that's useful. Okay, so if we upgrade, what does upgrading the helmet eventually do? A chance to avoid stun, critical hit damage reduction. Oh, that's not as protecty as I thought it was going to be. And then we've still got the belt. You know, I'm gonna upgrade the, oh. It just takes anything. Well, we'll upgrade the belt. It might be useful. It might not be useful. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, it seems like a, a good idea to kind of upgrade some of these things. Because who knows, maybe the third tier is actually amazing. So let's see. What is, what's the belt's next level do? It's not bad. I'll probably throw on the belt later. Right now, it's not the most useful thing. Let's see, the shield, the shield actually could be really useful. With the bro blocking projectiles. And there's lastly the uh, shadow sword. Well, I think for the time being, let's just throw on... Um, let's just throw on the boots. Because this way, I don't take... I don't take damage from my own fire. And that seems like the wisest of plans that I can possibly roll with. Cool. This game is still getting super frustrating, but now at least I won't be killing myself. So now we can do... Big... Or very big. Well... We'll probably be doing very big. Because, yeah, it definitely gives... It definitely gives the most amount of rewards. Just, oof. What's next? The Anti-Pope. Then after that, it's the Demon. So we might actually be able to get this done in a couple more runs. I'm just not sure if I'm immediately able to do that. Well, one way or another, I'll see you guys in the next episode session of... freaking this game, Book of Demons. <laughs> I thought it was going to be much more casual than it is. Turns out, no. <sighs> Not at all. Uh, anyway, so see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.